In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Roll Call Attendance app in Canvas. Uh, you will see that I have attendance listed on my course menu. So that's something you need to make available on your course menu. If it is not shown up here, you will need to go to the course settings uh, to make it available. So let's go to the course settings. Um, and then you click on navigation. Roll call attendance is one of the apps that I have made available here. It is down here that you need to bring up in. You need to bring it up here for it to be used. Okay. The second step is once it is available here, you know, the second step is to make sure it's going to the right category in your assignments. You will see that you have a lot of um, assignments here. Uh, attendance and participation is a category that I created so that I can just uh, list this item only without this roll call attendance uh, messing up other categories. So make sure that it goes to uh, some kind of attendance and participation kind of category. So once you have done that, you can go to roll call attendance to take your attendance for the day. Uh, you can just mark everybody as present. Let's go to another day. Let's say February 7th. I want to mark everybody as present except uh, Mary Jones. She's not here, so I click on her name and then it will show as not present for that day. So, so how do you know how many times Mary June has missed the class? You click on more, you will see here, there's a present one, late one, and absent one. Okay, and this number will change as you mark uh, more on um, Mary June's. So I'm going to mark her as absent another time. So look at um, more, you will see Mary June has been absent twice. So this is something you can see. What about the students themselves? Uh, for them, to, they need to go to their view and go to the grades. And I'm going to show you that very quickly by switching to um, student view. OK, I'm now in uh, the student view. So I click on grades. And I will find uh, roll call attendance. It is called roll call attendance. Um, if I can't find it here, I probably can search. Roll call attendance. And then click on this roll call attendance here. The students will see a little panda riding the uh, unicycle. And then there is a chart that shows how many late, how many absent, how many present days the student have. And the late and uh, absent days are listed down here, but the present days will not be shown here. Um, you will see that for late days, uh, the student get 80% credit. That's something you can define uh, yourself by going to roll call attendance. So if I stop acting as the student right now, so I'm back to teacher view. Now I can click on here, this little um, gear, and I click on roll call settings. I can define how many days, uh, how many points I will use for a late um, a late day. So I can make it 90% if I want to, or 80%. So this is something you can change yourself. You can also see here, you do not necessarily need to count this towards the final grade, if you check this, then you know you will not see this item uh, counted towards the students' to grade totals. So sometimes you might find that rule call attendance can be hidden as one of the categories, um, in one of the categories that they do not actually belong to. That's what's causing some of the issues in grade calculation. Uh, this is the rule call attendance app. Uh, I just hope that you can use it. Uh, I would also uh, like to remind you that you can also create a seating chart to 
who put students in different places in the classroom, and you, that's what you do, okay? And that, that way you can just easily identify students and mark them as present or absent or late. I hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.